screen here. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you're doing pretty well. And uh, I'm recording with my cell phone, and I want to show you one app. This is the one. Basically, um, I just came across with this app like two weeks ago, and I and it seemed to me pretty interesting to improve my my speaking skill and my listening skill as well. So I don't know if you haven't watched this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right here for you to see and for you to understand how was my listening skills. Uh, like a year ago, but I think now I'm I'm doing pretty well. So let's say I'm not a master in li in listening, but I think I can improve a little bit throughout those weeks or month. And um, next star with this app, uh, you may even saw it perhaps. So it is basically a app where you can practice your speaking skills, reading, listening, and all com combined in a in a one exercise. I'm gonna show you right now how it's how it's the one. I'm using the integrated A. Mm. I already did the speeches, so and. I'm gonna show you what it did. Well, I really think uh, the girl is right because, um, as it was previously stated uh, in his um, application, so, she, so she, he, she has to do a, a. By the way, previously stated was one word that I learned from a certain language learner. Um, I am from Canada, as was previously stated, and uh, I, so I, I speak many. In our last interview, if you want to check it out, go ahead. But that's one thing that I've caught on, that I almost try to picking up a idea or phrase from uh, in the interview that I that I do. One phrase that was in my mind when I was when I did the interview with Browning was was the um, cohete skyrocket I just <laughs> stated like your Spanish or like any language just really like skyrockets like that word was super interesting because it was a new one for me and I've mm, done the same for handicapped in this interview as well it's that simple it doesn't if you if you don't speak and read english you are handicapped in this world today especially that's super awesome it's super cool to just have an interviews and talking with native where you can learn a lot from it so the peculiar thing with this app is that it tells you how you how how can you how can you improve and it's basically she uh, she's very unhappy with the university's decision to guarantee seats to political science and government students uh, seats to hear a special uh, political guest speaker. Uh, the cool thing here is is just you can record a audio for for you to listen yourself, uh, like like responding the idea or what you hear what what you hear what you listen to, and after that you're gonna see the explanation of a native English speakers and that's super great. I'm gonna do one example right now and that's the whole video. So transportation, let us give it a try with tra transportation. The university has decided to change its transportation options for students. Read the university website's announcement about the decision. You will have 45 seconds to read the announcement. Begin reading now. Let's begin. I have 40 three seconds now. We regret to inform you that the university will not longer be able to offer complementary transportation by bus between various stops on, on campus and in the city at large. Instead, all the students will now be given a $50 pass for public transportation. 
It will be renewable each semester. This pass can be used, used on all public subway and buses. While the university regrets this inconvenience, it is hoped that students will take the opportunity to immerse themselves more closely in the local community. Now, listen to two students discussing the announcement. So did you hear that the university is cutting its transportation budget and ending all bus service? I did hear that. Uh, but it's no big deal, right? I mean, the university is also compensating all students with $50 vouchers for public transportation. The vouchers can be used on, like, uh, the subway and public buses. So it sounds like there won't be a big problem. Are you kidding me? This is going to be horribly inconvenient. I mean... Like, first of all, there's no public transportation to the DeWolf Science Center. It's far away from any subway and bus station, and and getting there will require a 20-minute walk through some of the worst neighborhoods in the city. Uh, I guess that will be a problem for some people, uh, but try to look at it this way. There's too much division in this country between university students and the people who live in the cities around them. Won't this encourage a spirit of togetherness, like when we're all using the same public transportation? But actually, I think that this policy of action is going to be happening. The female student expresses her opinion about why she disagrees with the university's new policy. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. Okay, let's give it a try. <laughs> I understood, but not just every single word. So let's start the time. Prepare your response. You got 30 seconds. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm so sorry for the noise background. So actually I'm doing this right now 4 p.m. But anyway, so it's, it's just the time that I had to make this video. I'm gonna do my tried record. Okay, basically the student was um, pretty uncomfortable with that new policy because of the fact that that public aid the university are was going to to give to all the students basically did not cover one specific place she likes like one side I don't remember the name but it was super important for her and um, but the important thing that the other guy is flying here that was great was because it's not a big deal because they actually work was going to count with one public transportation. This is why this app is super interesting. You can even just type your what, what you said and after that you're going to type what the American answer. I'm gonna put right here what the native uh, speaker says. Said. The female student disagrees with the decision to cut funding to the university's official buses in favor of a voucher system for public transportation. Certain places like the DeWolf Science Center are far away from the subway and public bus routes. Students will need to walk through the dangerous part of town to get there. She is also suspicious of the idea that taking local transportation will immerse students in the local community. This is because the $50 vouchers are not worth enough money to consistently let the students take public transportation. Students will need to walk to most places from now on and probably will not interact much more than they currently do with people in the city. Cool. There you have it, guys. So I.
tool to learn or to practice your spoken English. And uh, that's just one thing I wanted to commend you and also give you like a little bit of my um, current stage when listening. So anything by reading is another important part. So because uh, one can read but not putting attention on understanding what we are reading. So, but the important thing is that reading, it, it could be fast, it could be slow, but the important deal we have to keep in mind is understanding what, what we are reading. Because time ago, that happened to me that I was able to read, but I wasn't able to get the information into my mind. So, in that, I think that uh, I've been going ahead step by step. One thing, Another thing I want to tell you, I know this video is super long, if you are here until this time, thank you so much for reading subtitles or whatever, but but yeah, I am a, I am a lazy learner, I'm a lazy student, because I know that if you catch a new word, a new phrase, you can even type it down for features, considerations, like you can type it down in uh, looking for the meaning and after the afterwards using it in another sentence but what i do and i i think this is another way this is the way that i liked basically is that i listen to a word a peculiar word and after that i just like keep it in mind like the words that i already mentioned like like skyrocket like previewed stated all those things i haven't typed it down but I went, but I, but uh, what I do is just try to look in the correct time or the correct context to say those words. I don't type it down. I just put it in my mind and try to um, wait for a moment to another native say the same word and I try to use it. But there is one shortcut I think that's super important and that's what we can do is just type it down because many people have. Uh, type it down words and phrases there I, I don't have a book but that's because that's my method and my methods could be different for you from you from your point of view so that's basically what I wanted to comment in this video I'm gonna try to do my best to edit it so much and thank you so much for watching keep going keep going with your English learning process I'll see you around take care bye bye